Hello there, you welcome to this Microsoft Access Database tutorial brought to you by DataTex. My name is Myla. In this video, we are going to append records from our Microsoft Excel worksheet directly into our access table that we have in over here. So, you can see we have this worksheet of students' records and all the columns that we are having over here are the same as we have in this data table. So now, how do we append the records directly from Microsoft Worksheet, Microsoft Excel Worksheet into our access data table. So now there's difference between append and export. If we choose to export this worksheet, it means that it will come into our database uh, database here as a table. But instead, we don't want to have any additional table of this, but we just need the records here. So in this circumstance, uh, it is ideal for one to append the records directly into the tables before you can actually achieve success there are some couple of things that you have to ensure before you move on let's see the prerequisites firstly every rec every column that we have here need to exist in your data table in access here but then it does not necessarily imply that every field over here also has to be here as a column okay so that is that is the key requisite that you need to actually uh, get and then the second thing too is that the naming of the columns here has to be the same when it comes to the microsoft access if other than that you will be encountering uh, i mean errors and mistakes for instance when it comes to the class code here you can see there's a high there's a there's an underscore that is the reason why over here to have put an underscore here because i want it to really work but then the blend of the lowercase and the uppercase is not really a problem because Microsoft Access domain is actually case insensitive. So guys, we are going to move all the records here and append it to this data table within a blink of an eye. So without not much we do, let me close this worksheet. Okay, so let me choose to save it. So now I'll press Windows key and the D. Then now Windows key and letter D. It has brought me to the desktop and here we have the worksheet that we're working with and we have the student database that we have also here so you move into your access database now make sure you close the table so let me save it now we click external data so here we have export and then import so these are the we go to the import and link group now we click excel because our data is in excel worksheets okay so here microsoft access presents to you three type of options or three options to importing your uh, worksheets now you move down here and choose the second option which is append a copy of the records to the table so now which table are you appending the records to student information in the case that you have a lot of tables in your microsoft asset database they will pop up and you have to select the particular table that is to host the data now you click the browse icon so you choose where the worksheet is or the worksheet can be found so you choose this instead now we hit open now we hit okay okay so now here we have two worksheets in here so which of them are we importing the records from so we are we are just using the ny worksheet we just want to migrate the records that we have only on the ny worksheet into our student info table so we select it now you hit next Okay, so you make sure that your column headers have rightly been identified by the wizard. Now you move next. So import to table, student info, now you hit finish. Okay, so now once you see this particular uh, window, it implies that your import is now successful. So now let us go into the student info and you can see that hooray we have the records here and we have been able to transfer the records directly from the worksheet into our access table without we not necessarily importing it so if we should go to the data from here too now you will see that we have the records here as well so let us repeat the same process once more again for the pp worksheet so i'll choose to close everything i'll click excel again append browse so we scroll up desktop so this is where we have it open we hit ok so now let's select the pp we hit next so you can see it's a very easy process now we hit finish okay so this one too is now successful so as soon as we click in here now you will see that the pp records have also been added so guys that is how we can easily 
migrate records from Excel worksheets into Passes data table by appending them directly. So I believe this has been a very helpful tutorial. If you have loved it, kindly give me a like and then also subscribe to this YouTube channel so that um, the algorithm will be able to recommend my tutorials to uh, people that really need to watch this. So guys, in the next video, we'll be talking about append query in Microsoft Access Excel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.